In this video, we'll be discussing radical functions. A radical function is a function that contains a variable underneath a radical or rational ex exponent. The following are examples of radical functions. f of x equals 3 times the square root of x minus 7. g of x equals negative 4 times the fifth root of x to the seventh plus 10 and h of x equals 3x minus 2x to the 1 third plus 5. In each of these functions, there's a variable either under a radical or raised to a rational exponent. We're going to be discussing how to find the domain of radical functions. If the index is odd, the domain is always all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity when written in interval notation. If the index is even, we're going to set the radicand greater than or equal to zero and solve. The solved inequality will be the domain of that radical function. Let's state the domain of each function in interval notation. Our first example, we have the function f of x equals the square root of x plus 7. Right away, you need to turn your attention to the index of the radical. If the index is odd, our domain will be all reals. If the index is even, we need to set the radicand greater than or equal to zero and solve. In this example, we have a square root, so the index is two, which is even. Therefore, we need to set the radicand greater than or equal to zero and solve to get the domain. Subtracting 7 from both sides, we get x to be greater than or equal to negative 7. This is the domain. Now we need to write it in interval notation. I always think a number line is helpful when trying to write our interval notation. x is greater than or equal to negative 7, so we'll be shading to the right for greater. And since our inequality symbol is or equal, we need to use a square bracket. The domain written in interval notation is going to be bracket negative 7 comma infinity. In our next example, we want to find the domain of g of x equals 5 times x to the 1 third minus 2. This time, we don't have a radical, but we have a rational exponent. Recall that a rational exponent can be turned into a radical. a to the m over n power can be rewritten as the nth root of a raised to the m. So we'll want to do that with this example. We write it as a radical g of x equals, now that rational exponent of one third is only attached to the x, so the five is going to be out in front of our radical. This is five times x underneath, three is our index, all that raised to the first, minus two. Now we can clean that up a little bit and just write g of x equals five times the cube root of x minus two. Now that we're written as a radical, we turn our attention to the index. The index in this example is 3, which is an odd number. Anytime your index is odd, your domain is automatically negative infinity to positive infinity. Our last example, we want to find the domain of r of x equals x minus 3x plus 9 raised to the 1 half power. Again, in this example, we have a rational exponent. So the first thing we want to do is rewrite that as a radical. We get r of x equals x minus the square root of 3x plus 9, all that raised to the first. And we can clean that up some and rewrite r of x equals x minus the square root of 3x plus 9. We have a radical. 
we turn our attention to the index. It's a square root that makes our index 2, which is even. Therefore, our radicand has to be greater than or equal to 0. So 3x plus 9 is greater than or equal to 0. We do not care about the x standing alone. We're only concerned about the radical. We're trying to ensure that we have real answers, which is why we're setting that radicand greater than or equal to 0. We know that a negative under a square root creates an imaginary number. Solving for x, we'll subtract 9, and then divide by 3. We get x to be greater than or equal to negative 3. This is our domain. We need to write it in interval notation. I use the number line to help me. x is greater than or equal to negative 3. We'll be shading to the right of negative 3 and using a square bracket because it's or equal to. Our domain is bracket negative 3, comma infinity.